Hey everybody, what's up? It's Potch here. We're playing another game of Payday. Well, actually, I have been playing it for quite some time now. Um, my newfound love for Payday has just grown. I don't know why. My, um, I'm really getting into the FPS games once again. Um, but here is another build. It's actually one of my favorites. Actually, it's one of it's my favorite of favorites. I love snipers. I mean, who doesn't, right? I mean, there are a few people who like shotguns. I'm there. There are a few people who like rifles, and uh, there are people who like uh, snipers. All right. Anyway, moving on. So we will need a few uh, weapons for. A few DLCs, not weapons, I'm sorry. A few DLCs, um, well, yes, weapons that are exclusive to DLCs. So, um, if this is a sniper build, and uh, one of the best snipers out there right now is the Desert Fox, this one right here. And you're gonna need that. So, f you're gonna need the, what was it, the John Wick weapon pack? That's, that's where you get this. And then you're gonna need, um, the gauge spec ops, I believe that's where you get the arbiter. But I mean, if you don't have the gauge spec ops, you can you can use a china puff, china puff that comes from I don't have it, but uh, china puff that comes from the wolf pack DLC. So I think a lot of people have that more than others. But an, another alternative would be the gauge ninja pack with the explosive uh, ammo. That works too. Um, I don't recommend rocket launchers because the the area damage the AOV, the AOE that it, it has isn't really um, it's it's too wide. So I wouldn't really recommend having it, and it has to be something that explodes. So any of these three is great for snipers. Um, the sh the Desert Fox works perfectly well. It has the right amount of rate of fire it's fast enough it has good amount of ammo it goes through walls it's a sniper rifle and um, its reload time is satisfactory if you don't have this but you're a sniper lover um, you can get the R93 it works just as well it has the same amount of damage it has similar stats to accuracy and stability it um, in fact the R93 has really good ammo pickup um, almost closely similar to the Desert Fox and uh, uh, what else um, it has pretty much the same reload time a little bit takes a little bit longer um, but if you don't have this um, you could use the Le Lebensager for the ninja pack if you have the ninja pack you can use it but I don't I don't really think it would be I mean it has less damage so you might have to get some other skills that are um, to, to make up for the loss of damage if you don't have any of the snipers any of the sniper packs the platypus will work fine as well albeit the reload time will take longer um, almost six seconds but um, I really recommend the Desert Fox, one of the best sniper rifles out there in the game currently. So let's go on to our skill sets, um, our skills rather. So the, this sniper build is heavily fixated on Inspire, as most sniper builds are. So, um, and it's really important because you're not gonna be, you're not like, you're not gonna be out in the the open as a sniper. You'll be sniping people. The only time you'll be out in the open is if you need ammo and you're running around to gain ammo. Um, if I haven't mentioned it yet, yes, this build, if played properly, like I said, if played properly, you can play this build on one down. Um, the footage in the background that I'll be showing will be of me soloing Mayhem, which for some is probably already hard, but it's not really that hard, um, especially since the mission that I'm doing is um, the safe house raid. It's not really hard to to do anything on any difficulty on the safe house raid. If you know how to um, play around with the map and if you have that sort of tactical awareness, all uh, right, so we're we're sort it's the it's a friend build, 
right? But we have Mastermind, and in order for you to be able to really do this, you have to hit Infamy, uh, Infamy Six at least, or uh, Infamy Five. I'm sorry, at least Infamy Five, so that you can, or Infamy Four, because you're only using we're only using three of these uh, skill trees. All right, so Mastermind. We need Inspire, the usual stuff, and you're gonna want to get Combat Doctor, just like um, because you're 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 gonna be the guy who's going to re revive people. You're gonna be the guy who, um, you know, you're gonna be that guy. You're gonna be sort of like a support kind of person, um, and then you're gonna want lots of armor for this build. So no, we're not going the heavy armor build because our points won't allow it, but. Uh, we will use the armor build for this build. There, there, there's another variation you can use the dodge build, which I will go into later as for alternatives. Um, you're gonna want the bullseye so that because you're a sniper, of course, you're gonna headshot everyone. Um, this will help you a lot with this armor build. And so you just want these two. Uh, you're gonna want this for the armor recovery. Um, well, wait, no, not really for the armor recovery, recovery, for the flashbang reduction, actually. And you're gonna want this for the ballistic armor. I don't think I have it on. Do I have it on? No, I should have it on. There. Alright, going back. So, we're gonna need these armor th builds. And then, why do I have this on? Um, we, we don't really need this, but if you want it, uh, go ahead. And then. Another important aspect of this build is, of course, it's a Frenzerker. It's a Sniper Frenzerker build. So you're gonna want the Frenzy and Berserker skills for this. And you're gonna want, since it's gonna be a one down build, you're gonna need all of these. Um, as soon as you, you're gonna wanna ace Messiah. I don't have it aced yet because I'm still in the works of, or can I ace it without this? Yes, oh no. I lack one. C crap. Eh. Uh, there. Well, we don't really need the f flashbang reduction, but I, I really like it because those damn flashbangs can be quite annoying. But yeah, so you're gonna want this aced so that every time you use a doctor bag, since you already have the doctor bag, you might as well abuse it and um, get Messiah. Because and you're gonna be the you're, you're gonna be like the anchor of the team because on one down everyone's gonna die and everyone's gonna go down. You're gonna have to be that guy who keeps everyone go up. And on one down, most of the time you're gonna have to be uh, st stuck together unless um, it, it well it varies depending on the mission that you're on on the heist that you're on. But most of the time you're gonna want to be close together and all that. So Swan Song, the usual stuff that you need for one down. The Revenant skills. So nine lives, Fain Death, Swan Song, and Messiah. Only thing different from the other builds, of uh, other one down builds, is you're gonna need Messiah because you're gonna need that one charge. Um, there will be times when you get downed, and since you're the only guy, or well, you might as well expect to be the only guy who can. Um, revive everyone so you and you since you're a sniper so most of the time you're in cover you're hiding you're somewhere um, where no one can help you so you're gonna need the messiah to kill someone off and then pick yourself up and then as I said frenzy build so get all the ace the frenzy ace the berserker ace the uh, you, well you're gonna have to ace this to get the frenzy and that's that's actually it. Um, so yes, the doctor bag for equipment, and then the anarchist for this build, because like I said, it's heavily relying on armor, since the dodge build isn't really that good. Well, it is good for one down, but it's not like I mean, it's not ideal. So you're gonna need Sydney's DLC pack for this armor, the anarchist. If you don't have uh, Sydney, for some reason, you don't like her. I mean, who doesn't like her? But I like her so much. Uh, for some reason, if you don't have the Anarchist, you can get this. 
the armor, is it the armor? Yeah, it's, you can get the armor, which will sort of basically functions almost the same way as the Ar Anarchist. Um, but the Anarchist just, you know, the Anarchist is just really good for, for the Lust of Life, the last uh, perk on this perk deck, which uh, if you deal damage, you grant armor. So as I said, you really want all the armor that you can have for this build. And um, uh, for throwing weapons, um, well, throwing weapons is a, is, it's a choice of preference, whichever you want. Some will go for the concussion grade, some will go for the Molotov cocktail to de for area denial. Um, the half grenades are great as well. Uh, I don't know if anyone uses the Ace of Spades and Shuriken or the throwing knife on one down, unless, I mean, the Shuriken's great for stealth missions, but the Javelin really helps a lot for me, um, since it does a lot of damage, it does 3000 damage, as I may have said in my other Payday video, the Javelin is, it's a, a nice keeper, I mean, it's really, it's worth the DLC, it does 3000 damage, it's the only throwing weapon that, that does damage equivalent to the Thanatos sniper. Um, and it's great because if you're a sniper, you usually don't really use these uh, throwing weapons. They're just like, they're, they're accessories, they're, they're optional stuff. Um, well, unless you're playing on one down, of course, then it becomes a, nece a necessity to have probably the Molotov cocktail or the Hef grenade or maybe even sometimes the dynamite or the frag grenade. But, I mean, for me, it's just, it's really helpful in those times when I'm low on ammo, I don't have ammo, and the, the China Puff can't really kill uh, bulldozers on that level, on one down, um, in like so many shots. You'd run out of ammo before you killed one on your own. So um, normally what I do is I use a grenade launcher, take off its armor, um, and then snipe it right in the face. It takes about one or two, shots to kill the the bull uh, a one down bulldozer one of those skull dozers uh in the face and that, that you should be good with that if that doesn't work and you're out of ammo in three shots you haven't killed the bulldozer and you've run out of ammo for some reason or you have to reload for some reason uh the javelin will finish it off doing 3000 damage i mean look at that it's like having it's like having a thanatos it's like having another sniper on your in your uh, accessor in your weapons and stuff. Uh, for weapons, anything really goes. You can have any weapon you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just preference for me. I like the high damage, uh, long reaching weapons. I don't really use melee weapons with this build since you're already doing a ton of damage with your sniper and your javelin and your and your uh, grenade launcher. So uh, it's just a matter of preference. I use the katana. Some people will use other stuff like the buzzer to taste people or the boxing gloves to uh, knock people down or stuff. Maybe even the buckler to knock people down. This has great knockdown ability, but um, I, just, I just like the katana. For me, the melee weapons aren't really much of an of a utility, but so there, there you go. And um, right, so alternatives for the dodge build. All right, so for the dodge build, assuming that you have you're at level 100 and you can afford to spend for additional um, what you call it skills you're gonna want to take this armor breaks and this uh, you're gonna want to ace the d d ducking this one I can't really uh, place it all right because I don't have enough points but you're gonna want to ace the duck and cover and the this one and then you're gonna half want to go for the two piece suit and then switch off to the rogue. Where are you, rogue? Rogue there. I actually like this build because I get to swap faster, aside from the uh, 
uh, the 45, 45 dodge rate because most of the time when you're on one down there will be a ton of dozers and you're gonna want to use the grenade launcher to take off the armor and then snipe their faces. This is assuming that your your teammates are useless, but most people who play one down aren't really that useless. They're actually quite good and probably better than you. I don't well, I don't know. Probably better than me. Um, so yeah, there's the, the sniper build, my favorite one that I'm actually using. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you enjoyed and do subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Um, you're probably probably here for the payday stuff but I don't really regularly post payday stuff but anyway subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more payday builds and future beta stuff by the way for honor is coming out if you're a huge fan of for honor of the reaction games like Dark Souls for Honor is going on beta for the 24th and I actually uh, on the 26th rather and I actually plan to buy the game before it comes out. Um, I'm still deciding which pack to buy since I'm kind of tired of money. And this has been Potch giving you payday two builds. And until next time, stay frosty.